people want to find out a little bit more about this thing because uh, honestly it's pretty daunting. This is the uh, thing that's located in the uh, textbook for Neil's class. Um, it looks daunting, but rest assured it is not as daunting as it looks. So the first thing that I'd like to point out is this little section down here. Ignore the rest of it for now. Wow, that is really not the shape that I just made. But yeah, ignore the rest of it for right now, and I'll show you what that uh, what that exactly does. That's better. So down here, we've got a series of uh, a series of gates. These things are of course not. These things are and. And uh, you've got a couple feeds. So let's say theoretically we've got two zeros coming in there. Um, I'll just show you what these do. Because the end gates both need ones in them for them to output a thing. This is the little section. The decoder is what tells the entire process what exactly to do. Um, and you'll notice that the top line, if this top line is a one, it's going to follow this little line here and put a one there. Or in the second one, it's going to put a one there. And so for the first one, it's the uh, it's the A, B, or what is it, the A and B. And then the second one is the A, uh, A or B. And then there's the not B. And so these different things, these three right there, are exactly what is determining uh, determining what's done. So we've got the, again, the and, the or, the not, and then the final one, which is like the bottom line, this one is responsible for the add function. And I'll show you exactly how that works here. So, like I was showing you, there's the, there's the uh, zero and the zero. Now if you follow along, maybe, yeah, I'm going to change the stroke here so that you can see a little bit different. Maybe some nice magenta red. Fine. <laughs> so picky. Okay, so the zero follows along all of these lines, branches through. This zero becomes a one at this point and drops off into there as a one. Follows this little line down here and becomes a one there. So therefore a one there. It branches down here and then down there, and it stays as a one. Or wait, it stays as a zero. Uh, when it continues down here, it stays a zero. So we know that for sure these two right here are not going to fire. So we know that it's not going to be the add. So this one is the add. We know that it's not going to be the add. So that connects over to the full adder. And we know that it's not going to be the not B, which is the bottom line if you connect it here. This is where that thing is plugging in. So we know it's not going to be those two. So that means we only need to focus on the logic of the top two. So we follow this zero, that zero connects up here and drops a zero in there. And then if we follow the same thing, it goes past here, goes past the not gate, and becomes a one, meaning that this is going to uh, going to be a one in the output line. Uh, so this thing, the output is going to be one, zero, 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 which is one, zero, 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 corresponds to the top one, which is this and function. It makes sense so far, right? And similarly, I mean, I'm not going to follow through all the logic of these things. I mean, you can you can probably uh, just take care of all of that stuff. But uh, you only get four different states out of here. You either get a, a one on one of these lines, which does the add and stuff like that. I'll explain the full adder afterwards here. Um, and and so then we have to worry about what comes in on A or what comes in on B. And this is invert A or uh, enable A 
or enable B. So we can have A and B come into, into this little system. So theoretically, if our A is 1 and our B is 0, but our enabled is on 0 as A, that doesn't matter because this is going to be 1, this is going to be 0. That means this, this thing is going to output a 0. So no matter what, this is going to be 0. But if it's an invert A, you get 0 and 1. And this is an XOR gate, which means uh, it's either one side or the other, but not both, which means that would actually fire. This, this would output a 1, because you have one, not the other. Anyways, so that's, that's what this whole thing is set up for. These, uh, these, little, these little parts are just whether or not you're enabling it and whether or not you want to invert your A and what the actual values of the A's and the B's are. So let's, let's continue on with, with this thing down here. And because we have this outputting as a 1, and we know that we're going to fire the A, A and B, Let's have the A and the B, because we want to output as true. We want A is 1 and B. That way A and B are both true, and we'll actually have something come out of here. So we're going to have 1, and we're going to have 1. We're definitely enabling A, and we're enabling B. We don't need to invert A, because that would mean my A would be backwards, and I don't want that. So that's going to be 1, 1, 1, 1, this up. Uh, this is going to output 1, this is going to output 1, that's going to output 0, which means this thing, the XOR gate, is outputting 1, and this is outputting 1 as well along that little line. So if I trace along my paths here, I've got a 1, because the nothing has switched. Uh, I go straight in here, I have a 1, uh, if I follow down here, I'm just going to put a 1 down here because that's the next one. And uh, I believe that is it because this, this one is only connecting to B. That's why this one doesn't have any A that comes into it because this is not B. It doesn't care what the value of A is if it's not B, right? Like logically. So... Uh, we're gonna we're gonna do the B here. We connect through the not gate switches that one to a zero, which ends up in a zero there. So no matter what comes out of this thing, which we know what actually comes out of that, this this comes out as a zero, right? So that's gonna be a zero zero. But if there's any zeros in an AND gate, you might as well not even think about them, right? Because you know that this has to be a 1 and a 1 for this to output a 1. So that will never output true if there's a 1, 0 in there. So if you solve for 1, 0, just forget about it. So the next part, uh, if, we, if we come in on the B line here, this is also a 1. Uh, yeah, 1 and 1. And so this OR gate is 1 OR 1, which is true, so it's going to output a 1, and then down in the bottom we have nothing on the OR line here, so that's actually going to be a 0, in which case forget about it, and forget about that one too. And then the final one that we have is from the B line, we go up here and we have 1 and 1, which is A and B, and so this outputs 1, we got the one from down here and we put it up there. So this is going to have a one in the output. So because this is an OR gate, we're going to have one, uh, it only takes one one to output a one. So we know that the output is going to be a one. And the carry could be, well, let's, let's see what this carry does. Because the carry just is responsible for the ones or the zeros coming in. So let's make up a number. This is a one, this comes in. Uh, you're going to have a one there, you're going to have a one there. Uh, you're going to have one there, 
and that branches down there. You're going to have a 1 there. You're going to have a 0 here because if I trace this back here, there's no point in even looking at that. So this one is totally off the list. We don't need to worry about that. That connects through. That's connected the bottom of the decoder as well. So that's going to be a 0. That one's crossed off the list. So this is 0, 0, or 0. So the carry out is 0. It doesn't matter what the carry in was, right? Because uh, it's always going to be 0. And then we know that because uh, uh, we're connecting to the B here, we've got a 1 or a 1x or 1. So it, it has to be one or the other, but not both. So in this case, this thing is outputting zero. That is outputting zero. That'll output one. And this is going to be a zero because if we trace this back here, we know that that's carrying out a zero. So this AND gate is outputting a zero. So anyways, the carry doesn't matter, really, in this case. In other cases, it will matter. Um, and that's just when you're dealing with a bit slice and and the bit slice The bit slice is really just a stack of these like a big row that's uh, wide enough for an entire word To go through these things so that you can do various different uh, different more complete mathematical operations on them anyways, that's my understanding of of uh, of that part of it anyways, I mean uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's this whole thing in a nutshell. Hopefully that gives you a good primer of how to actually walk through these things. Because all of these things are, this decides like the F1 and F0, that decides what's happening here. The full adder here decides whether or not there's an adding function. The carry in is, uh, is how much carries are added to this because in binary you're only gonna have one carry digit ever. And then the logical unit up here just takes care of your ands, your ors, and your nots. And then you figure out what you have as the output. That's it.